Jake's coming. Takes and takes and. Of course, them being here it mean, doesn't really mean anything. Doesn't necessarily mean that the den is close by. They are quite vigilant. I'm pretty sure that cat is here somewhere. Russ might have said that already. I think I'm just mostly convincing myself. Little grey overcast day this morning. Makes a change from some of the heat that we've had recently. Welcome to Wild Earth, welcome to Tuma Game Reserve. And welcome to our wild little piece of Africa where life and death has played itself out in the last couple of hours. That is quite a large carcass now, I'm looking at it. It could be Kudu, uh, the shoulder or Nyala, the weight of that hyena. You know, very often people ask about this, the, this odd shape of hyena, the very large front and much smaller back legs. And that's one of the things about hyena is their ability to just pick up a carcass and move with it. I'm going to try and follow them. At the moment, trying to get closer, I might just push him. He might be chewing on that shoulder blade that I saw lying here. <laughs> Sounds like some wild earth viewers on Ephraim's vehicle waving through the trees. been able to confirm that it is young quarantine male. I'll leave that up to viewers. Yeah, I'm seeing the top of his head at the moment. If it wasn't possible that maybe he found the carcass earlier, fed on it during the night, and then went to the dam for some water, and while he was away, the hyenas found it this morning. The first leopard? Or
this is a young male leopard, everybody, that has a, an interesting family tree. He is one of two young males who are now just over two years old. Two years and a couple of months. The sons of a very famous leopard by the name of Karula, who is also known as the Queen of Juma since this has been her territory for the last 10 years. She pretty much took over from her mother, who is a leopard by the name of Safari, a beautiful old girl, who was at least, I think, 17 or 18 when she passed, when she died. But uh, Karula had four litters. This is the fourth. Her fifth litter, sadly, killed by hyena last month. Well, no, actually two months. It was in December. So, the last surviving, one of the last two surviving, uh, I suppose all of them are, she might have only lost one. And that was a little female by the name of Shivinzi. Nobody knows what happened to her, as far as I know. Her brother Shivambalana is a leopard that has, seems to be much further to the east, up near Cheetah Plains and Nkoro. I saw him last year sometime up on Cheetah Plains. finished that bone. Oh, he's, he's been eating something. He's not a he's got quite a tummy on him. My guess is that he might have been feeding on his kudu during the night. Wondering what he looked like when he came to the dam to drink water. Not overly full. more than just the little bit of meat that I saw on that shoulder blade. Why don't you climb the Maruga tree and look from the Maruga tree? right up to Ephraim's car. Looks like he's heading back towards the road. Oh, are you right? Yeah. Did it hit you? Sorry, dude. Didn't know they going to do that. where the whole thing happened actually this is there was a spot of blood sorry boy yeah 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 a few pieces of bone and a few things still here yeah. little bits of oh, you can see a very dark patch just above him that must be where the kudu died one of the spots that I saw must have been where maybe the hyenas had dragged it and pieces of it have been separated. 
Um, I need to just move because they're in the way of air from. Okay. There's a natural tendency to cover things up. Maybe that was the stomach contents or something. Yeah, there are. There were some intestines that he was trying to cover up. Something else there that he's working on. Why? I can't tell you. Only he knows why. Maybe it's just... You see, normally a leopard does things like that to cover up their own kills. So that they can't be seen from the air or to try and disguise the scent. no real need to do that here because there isn't really anything left to to worry about but maybe it just is this little natural tendency of the cat to do that to smelly things or oh, quite a strong Scent where they maybe have taken the rest of that carcass. Uh, despite the fact that hyena do pretty much chew up bone, I doubt whether they would go so far as to separate all of those vertebrae. There was most of the entire vertebral column that that hyena picked up. Two shoulder blades have been taken off, but it was probably from the cervical all the way down through to the caudal vertebra and some of the ribs. And my guess is that they've been feeding for quite a bit, so it could be that there might be a piece left over. Are you clear at me, Mr. Lippin? There's no way through here at all. That might be the last of them. Here's going into the drainage line. We might be lucky enough to get down into the drainage line and have a look. 